actually so that, that, that's what actually my intention it's supposed to be uh, uh, supposed to be a uh, uh, the live session so that it will be easy for you guys to uh, get the idea and then you can proceed on that okay so i think the last class uh, so we have uh, uh, gone through like what is that machine learning the supervised and unsupervised and reinforced okay and uh, supervised and in and unsupervised predominantly we are going to work on this session in this course and uh, as we mentioned like that uh, that supervised is going to be a uh, what is that um so mainly it's going to be your task driven right and uns unsupervised is going to be a data driven right so with uh, if you're going for the supervised learning it's going to be a data with uh, labels and if it's going to be a unsupervised it's going to be a data without label because it's going to find out what needs to be done okay so forget about like a re a reinforcement uh, for this course but it's really fantastic one but it's very advanced level things are covered over there okay fine so with respect to the machine learning one step further classification if you want to go to that machine learning supervised unsupervised in unsupervised supervised means like actually here here we have uh, two major categories or there there is one is a classification another one is a regression so today we are going to talk about the regression at regression itself we have, we have uh, two major things are there it's very much interesting so today we are going to cover that in detail and the rest of things going to be classification it's a really very say, easy once you understand uh, how basically we are building that model and we are working on that it's nothing nothing but the other things are really straightforward and same way for clustering and association uh, under the unsupervised learning it's a pretty much easy once you understood the basic thing okay so so here the clear thing see there are so many definition about uh, the supervised learning and supervised learning so supervised learning in this case actually the data says it's labeled in which the algorithm would identify the future uh, explicitly and bringing out the predictions or classification the same way for un un unsupervised learning in this case there is no label and which the algorithm help us the model to able to learn from the data finding the implicit pattern okay so there are the the simple statement let's take the today's today's scenario right see for example um uh, there is a prediction tomorrow going to be heavy rain or not it's going to be a sr no condition that is nothing but it's going to be your supervised uh, sorry unsupervised learning this is going to be always going to be a sr no condition or um mostly like a, sorry about that sorry it's going to be like uh, some mostly mostly is going to be a predicting that things so if you going with the supervised learning so you can predict tomorrow is going to be a rain or not yes or no and then or say okay what is the temperature for example today is going to be heavy sunny means so using the supervised learning there is going to be a linear regression a straight forward question what's the temperature level if the temperature is going to if you are going to predict the temperature in in terms of numbers that is obviously is going to be a logistics one so okay so regression one okay so if it is going to be straight forward is going to be a numbers we are going to predict that the value is going to be a is a regression one regression uh, linear regression and if it is going to be a yeah, sr no conditions means or uh, um what is that sort of uh, so if you are going to predict uh, something some player going to play well or not for example uh, let's say say virat is doing uh, doing is uh, the, the complete last five series is doing excellent so suddenly we are saying okay so what he can make the century or not that is nothing but the logistics one okay or else if you are going to predict he is going to make 115 runs or 145 runs or 130 runs from his previous history so recent history so we there if you predict in the number that is going to be a linear regression that's a very clear idea and there are so many uh, definitions across in if you google that you can get so many things definitely will fit up okay so if you're going to be supervised learning means you can uh, take the hundreds of definition don't confuse that look at the here the data set outcome the diagram right 
so how we can classify that so what is going to be a, when it is going to be a regression and when it is going to be a classification and when it is going to be a clustering right simple if i have the population hope you remember that right so when you are discussing about the statistics transformation of uh, um, your uh, uh, stat statistical transformation of uh, the um, uh, the data science so the given from the given population you can make it as a tall short if you are doing that that uh, that classification means nothing but it's a classification algorithm okay if the given population you are making the number 170 180 250 260 something like just i'm making a number then that outcome is nothing but is a regression model and again if you are making as a group of people like cluster 1 cluster 2 how we are discuss about like when when we are discussing the um what is that uh, when discussing with uh, uh, the statistics and uh, uh, data science so the people group of people like speaking uh the tamil or group of people are speaking in telugu or some group of people be speaking in hindi something like that so we are making a cluster but initially the given population is nothing but a mixed data okay so from that you are giving the output in terms of numbers means it's going to be a, always going to be a regression and if it is going to be or making them is like a short or tall or something like that it's going to be a classification and if it is going to be like making a making a cluster kind of people right is a cluster group of people right is a group of people group of people actually it's a it might be overlapping that's it we have a hybrid combination and so many things are there i don't want to get into that detail now the picture itself is a very easy way to outcome don't confuse anything beyond that okay and the same you can ask me a hey, shanta like actually if the, if the data is given to me if if i if there any restrictions i can apply only the um what is that i can apply only the super learning algorithms or unsupervised learning algorithms means no you can do that okay let's go with supervised learning in the supervised learning we have two methods right uh, we have linear and here unsupervised we have logistics so we don't know whether the specific uh, the given uh, data set uh, it's applicable for any data set so that's the reason i think you remember there is a one of the model evaluation uh, steps for there oh, single data set so we can apply n number of methods so it means you can apply a logistics method you can apply regression method and you may apply that uh, what is that uh, uh, random forest and you can apply any other classical met methods anything but If you want to understand the fields at which features we have to the analysis, we need to identify the independent and the dependent variable. That's very important. Okay, that is very very important. So this is a diagram. Actually, we have seen that there is a two different like supervised and unsupervised. As mentioned, there is going to be labeled, and this is actually given instruction by the uh, kind of uh, teacher. Like, we are giving the guidance and. Uh, the model is well tuned and uh, and it going to be expect in something the outcome and uh, if you're going to be uh, unsupervised learning and certainly it's not like uh, the labeled one the system will try to read that and figure out this is the apple and this is a um, uh, banana okay in the condition but if you go supervised learning what it will do as a classification it will separate the The but it will say there at least is a banana number of bananas number of apples something like that the data it will extract that but in supervised learning model pi we have the four major thing is going to be linear and random forest and classification and uh, sorry decision tree and random forest so i'll planning to explain like one sample from each uh, one so that we will get an idea and same time like we are planning to go ahead with this unsupervised learning few things from there so that probably we can almost <coughs> we are completing our the course curriculum okay so until then any any questions from anyone guys anyone from any uh, any any questions from anyone students if you have no. any query 
Okay, sir. Let's continue. Yeah, yeah. One minute. Let me go into that. Uh... One minute, my system. So, Paul and other few guys used to, at least they used to talk something. Upal is there today. That's that. Uh, one minute, let me go to my coding. Just I want to show something. So let me start my Anagunda so that, uh, so I have a few classic uh, programming like this so We'll go through that and apparently we can uh, show the demo as well. Okay, All right. Take some time. So here, just so you want to understand, like make sure that the regression model, as I mentioned, it's going to be a linear regression and it's going to be a is a logistics regression. So supervised learning, it comes under and supervised learning. So if you're going to discuss about like the variables is going to be a numerical and uh, here it's going to be a categorical. That's what actually I mentioned like uh, tomorrow is going to be a, um, a rain or not. So then we can predict that what? Come on. Okay. Right, so so tomorrow is going to be take up like it's going to be raining or not. It's going to be what yes or no, and same way if it be uh, rain means then I need to say the how much rainfall going to be there. That's in the numerical uh, format. So that's a, such a relations between the linear and regression. If you take this, it's going to be creating a straight uh, line in a given um, uh, uh, dependent and independent variable. Uh, uh, things it could be anything number between like uh, zero and one so we can fit that uh, the uh, exact the line between independent and dependent variable but in the case of uh, logistics regression is always it could be a sigmoid function it's a very simple okay anyway let, let's show that's a simple uh, formula but uh, any what's up opening Okay, if my system is giving lots of trouble nowadays. Okay, it's going to be either a zero or a one in this condition. Any number in like if I have zero, it's going to be a 10, 15, something like that. And for dependent independent variable, it has a relationship between independent and dependent variable. And if you go ahead with this for the relationship between in this, no for logistics and same way for it's going to for resolving this is a regression problem and it's going to regression is a predicting problem predicting problem in terms of numerical values so is there any questions like during the discussion okay so that the straight answer is uh, linear is going to be talk about only the numeric value as of output and if you're going to discuss about the logistics going to be a what is that is a binary format okay it's the main thing Okay, and already I given as uh, the, the, the terminology like y is going to be variable, going to be always a different variable, and it, you can say it's a response variable or y variable or observation, or it's a predictor or x variable, any variable, different variable, and explanatory variable. Those these are very important key ter terms. Um, so in across uh, the data science industries, we are using that. Okay.
So now we are going to discuss about the regression analysis in detail by using y is equal to mx plus uh, plus c. Okay, now here actually in the picture it shows y is equal to a plus bx. So so we want to fit the the curve in straight line, proper line in between a given data. Okay, that is the challenge here. So the guy is trying to going to struggling. Actually, is this guy is struggling to fit the line in a given data plan, and he is going to say this is a perfect uh, uh, line for the the given uh, given uh, data point for regression line. Okay, cool. So in linear regression, it is going to be a two different major thing. One is logistics. Another one. I think I need to start my, yeah, at least it's working now. Push, I'm sorry, I selected the wrong one. Yeah, okay, let it be there. All right, so in the linear equation, it's going to be the always going to be a most linear equation, which is going to be relations between two variables or else more variables. Is going to be a one predict variable and number of um, 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 what is that? Different variables. Sorry, independent variables. All right. So here we have like uh, uh, what is that? The, the, the major equation, as I mentioned earlier, y is equal to y is equal to mx plus b for this simple linear equation, and y is equal to beta plus beta 1 plus x1 and so on is going to be a multi-linear regression. So I have a classic example for a both uh, um, both model. So today we'll discuss in detail. Um, so for logistics, probably we'll, we'll take it up tomorrow. Right. So you can ask me where exactly uh, this x plus x is equal to uh, mx plus b. So y is nothing but a different variable and uh, m is nothing but your slope. And x is nothing but your independent variable, and b v is going to be intercept, right? So after we analyze this, actually this is just funny I think like so we are going to do something linear pattern. So if something is coming different way, so that's we cannot do any go ahead with that. But at least we'll try to do make it some linear equation for a given data set. Okay, for for funny for first like I put it over here, we'll uh, go into one. One minute, let me check. Uh, it's Lanchus. Mm. Okay. Yeah. to view the overview of mathematical point of view then we'll slowly migrating into a linear model in uh, implementation using the python okay so this is the best analogy please be with me so it's a really very interesting and uh, just concentrate and focus on the slides okay so it's a very straightforward and easy don't panic on that and if you really were started enjoying, then it will be to you can do lots of things using the linear regression uh, um, hands on your own. Okay, so I'm going with the simple uh, the relations between the distance, speed, and time. Okay, so here I'm going to keep as a distance as a constant, and sometimes is a time is a constant, and times the speed is a constant. So so that actually what I'm going to do, I'm going to give an a analogy for like this, how to plot the, the linear equation here. Okay. And barely we can, we can go ahead for the, what is that? What is that? Uh, 
Okay. Right. So, introduction, multiple linear. Yes. So, Python, automatical. Method prediction. Which one I can go? Let me open the others. <coughs> Python on the others. Okay. I will click the whatever I need. Okay. Let me go into do that max first. I'm going scenario, okay? So time constant and this. Okay? So if it is, if it's going to be, if it is going to be a time constant, if it is going to be a time, okay? One second. So if 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 the speed is going to be five, and the distance I'm going to cover twenty five kilometers per hour, okay? So and if it is going to be speed, is going to be at ten. And I'm covering the distance going to be 50. It's a straightforward, uh, uh, what is that, uh, uh, formula. And I'm I'm driving, I'm, I'm developing this curve from left and increasing, and I'm getting what? Is that positive linear curve? I'm fitting that. And if I'm making negative relationship, the in the constant, and the speed is going to be a, a speed and time going to be a different. This is very important, and try to understand this guys so that we are able to make a very beautiful regression problems. You can solve it, okay? So that is very easy. Otherwise, the state I can show some samples, so you can move on. But it's a really interesting, and that's the reason I prepared a few slides for you guys specially, okay? So if it's going to be speed is equal to five, and time is going to be uh, so it's going to be something 100 minutes or something like that. Okay, so if it is going to be, I'm going with a, a, a speed with a 10 and it's going to be 80. So if it is a negatively, negatively actually I have a relation speed because if I keep on increasing, decreasing my speed, right? And time is also going beyond that limit. It's going to the reverse version. So you can read out in this way. If it is 30 means 40 and 20 means 50 and 10 means 80 and 5 is equal to 100 means. So obviously, the distance always going to be constant, but what happened ultimately? I'm getting the negative impact of this one. So look at this curve. That's actually, as I mentioned earlier, that in the data science mostly need to analyze the curve itself. You want to predict the, the values. So it's going to be negative relations. Okay. So now we're going to understand the mathematical understanding of LR. It's a bit challenge, but to try to understand that. So just you can read out here. Basically, before I jump into this one, I want to show some mathematical things here. Hope you remember in your uh, engineering max, there might be a question which talked about x value and y value. And uh, there is a question in actually x is equal to 10. Figure out the value of the rest of the y or other stuff, right? So the same, same thing here I'm doing, simple mathematics, nothing different okay so probably you can go back and check your your mathematics books okay so you can understand how exactly it is depicted right and this is your y variable this is your y y variable and this is going to be x variable and i'm going to give it a plot so this is the given data x is equal to x and y so initially i'm putting the value x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 3 so that I'm making mark over here and making x is equal to 2 and y is going to be a 4. The same way I'm plotting my all the data and I'm going to try to draw, draw some line. 
it's supposed to fit don't panic and again and i'm telling because this is a basic understand mathing and mathematical understanding so that only we able to resolve the problem is a straight forward uh, functions we have regression and uh, uh, coefficient of formulas we have methods we have so straight away we can uh, find the values okay so that's the reason i try to pull out the some uh, classic examples okay so so in this is actually a simple program simple uh, the code let me pull out the other samples as well the multi regression one i uh, preferred and uh, i have more thing for weather prediction and uh, i have uh, the other one okay so for this x and y value i'm going to i have this formula this is nothing but mean equation sorry guys if you really you, you forgot or used <laughs> you lost somewhere in uh, the mathematical please you can remember this one this is the formula in your the linear regression your mathematical max uh, engineering max so 3 or 4 i think you can you can get this uh, the specific chapter okay uh, like solving the problem regression linear regression solution okay so basically what is supposed to do by applying that m is equal to sum of the value this is a formula we bar so that is nothing but mean for mean of nothing but this one and mean of x y is nothing but 3.6 and this is nothing but 3.3 that is x bar and 3.6 nothing but y bar so i am doing a calculation x minus x bar y minus y bar don't panic this is a back end we are doing all those things the same way you want to understand how it is working that's the reason i'm giving i'm a, i prepared the slides for you to to understand yourself better way and this is going to be x minus x x minus x bar the whole square and uh, x minus x bar and and one y minus y bar so i'm making the summation of all the values and i'm finding the mean and i'm planning i'm i'm supposed to apply this value to y is equal to mx plus c i have the value of i have like what is the value of m and i have the value of uh, 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 what is that x one by one so here i'm applying okay and then i'm getting the value of c as well c is equal to 2.4 right so after getting this one what i'm doing i'm going to make the prediction actually this is the actually actual value okay this is the actual value and i'm going to do the prediction then i'm going to compare carefully you have to note it down okay so this is step one i'm finding the mean value and finding that y is equal to mx plus c so here i'm finding my c is equal to 2.4 after finding that m value and uh, my c value i'm going to prepare my chart for the y predictor okay by applying the values y is equal to first of all i am applying 4 4 is nothing but my m and and into 1 is nothing but my x value plus 2.4 so 2.4 is nothing but my c value i am applying this here so i am getting 2.8 3.3 .3, 3 and 3.6 and 4 and 4.2 so obviously i am getting what exactly exactly i'm getting the detail value of y predictor but in my given problem the actual is given 3 4 2 4 5 so that's the reason i'm making this that the, the the path this is nothing but my actuals and this is the set of is going to be predicted so compare this value the given value is nothing but i have actual values in with 3 and given value is equal to 2.8 so now it might be a bit little bit confused and once we go into the uh, the the coding probably you can understand better way 
Corte. Swing going back. Oh, come on. Okay, so I'm going to prepare that uh, the predicted value and I'm comparing with my uh, the actual values. So this is through my, pro my, my, my available formulas. Then I'm predicting the value 2.8, 3.2, 3.6, and 4, and 4.5. I'm comparing this value, whether the predicted value or not. The same way we can predict the value for, if it's going to be, if you can apply the value of uh, x is equal to 6, and we can predict some value for uh, predict the value for six for the the equation, so that we can uh, get the value. But here we don't have any values. This is already known. See, see the guys. Actually, you can compare with this one. See, if I have the the car efficiency, if you want to find out the car efficiency, I have the some set of features uh, like um, uh, what is that? The car model, or name of the car, and if engine efficiency, and so on. So if you're going to measure all those things, if it is going to be, I'm, I'm going to plan with the new engine model, then I can have the, what is the, the capacity of the engine? Okay, so the, we can predict the one, we can find out that one. So this is, that's why the thing actually, the, this is comes under supervised learning. Supervised learning means there is a guidelines. Already I have for uh, my dependent variable for one, I have approved one data on three, but I'm predicting with that my uh, formula, it's nearing by 2.8. And same way for the given number two, the value is going to be four, but my predicted value is going to be 3.2, but actual value is nothing but four. So now once you go into the coding, then probably you can understand better me. Okay, so I'm coming back uh, to the slides here. So basically, the mathematical understanding of this linear regression, we are going to draw this line exactly. We are planning to draw this line for the given data. And it's to reduce the error. It means reduce the distance between the predicted value and actual values. See, for example, in this line, actually I'm giving like estimated um, uh, uh, the value. So you can you can compare with the you can compare with this value. So 2.8, 3.2, and 3.6 values, it's going to be a line on the the, the linear uh, line, and but these are the actual values. See, for example, th these are the actual values, which is hanging below this, uh, the line or above the line, it's going to be actual values, and I'm drawing the line, which is nothing but my estimate value or predicted value. But sometimes there is there might be a, a differences between my actual value and estimated value that is nothing but my error. I want to reduce this error, then I can adjust this the line to get the exact fitment. See, for example, here it's nothing but a three, and I predicted as a two point eight. Okay, so there is a difference between the predictor my my actual is nothing but 0.2. So when I'm draw, when I'm doing the uh, uh, the plot, there might be a something here. So if I'm fitting uh, my my line here, uh, three three and 2.8 is going to be like something somewhere like this. So there is a gap. So how I can fit that by using the linear setup? So we can do that. I'm going to adjust this curve and uh, such a way we can do that. So that's the reason this guy. This guy is struggling to fit uh, the line to get the best fitment. Okay, and you're going to come up with the, the proper data. Right? This is very important. Just you can read out this one. The best fit line, the least error. If it is going to be like my my all the values, data point value is going to be nearby my line here means then the, 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 the line which I draw is going to be a best fitment of the line. Right? The least distance between 
a distance uh, difference or distance between estimated value and the actual value is going to be a what the best fit okay and this is going to be a minimize error uh, so there is a, some other calculation to validate that uh, that lines are correct or not we have our distance that we can take up that later so quickly if you go to that coding probably you can understand a little bit more because the practical wise we are going to do that right okay so here i am importing uh, 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 the file called uh, the advertise swing.csv and i have uh, um, a tv radio and newspaper and uh, the sales okay so i want to make sure like i'm i'm uh, due to that radio or uh, tv or newspaper i'm giving like the data that where the sales going to be hide okay so for example uh, 230 viewers and 337 uh, uh, listeners or uh, newspaper 60.69.4 69.2 is going to be data and the sales going to be a 22 percentage and in this combination i am going to get the data okay so here i am going to take the data sales as well as the most uh, spent on tv ads okay so this is linearly equal so that the sales is keep on increasing then the uh, the money spent on television so that uh, my sales get increasing so see you can see that linear relationship right how we how we um, uh, got that relationship between uh, your uh, speed as well as the distance so we got the linear and path relations between because actually we want to improve the sales means we supposed to add given an add to the television so this diagram will predicting that what exactly where need to spend and where we can this get sales increased okay and the same way here as i mentioned earlier like this is going to be a multi linear or a, a simple linear equation is going to be a, as a simple x is equal to uh, x is equal to sorry x is equal to mx plus c or it's going to be a, uh, sorry y is equal to mx plus c or it's y is equal to alpha and beta 1 x1 and so on okay so you can you can relate with this see here the sales is going to going to be alpha plus beta tv plus beta 2 radio and other uh, the media i'm going to promote my sales so you can relate with this y is equal nothing but your sales and each parameter is going to be your your the improvement of your overall sales okay so here i am taking a two variable my predict is going to be tv and uh, radio right and my independent dependent variable going to be my sales i am going to fit into that into my linear uh, i am creating a linear regression i think last class itself we have discussed about this one i am creating a linear uh, this is actually by using a linear regression i am importing this uh, the class from this package model package and then i am declaring the very vari uh, declaring the variable lm as a linear regression and model is equal to uh, lm dot fit x comma y okay so i am i am giving this data point to my fitment so after the fitment i am going to find out the intercept and coefficient okay so let's see what is that intercept and coefficient that is nothing but your y is equal to mx plus c c is nothing but your your intercept and m is nothing but your coefficients see here y is equal to mx plus c and this is going to be x is going to be in our case a single variable means we can make it as a Uh, just for example you can assume you can give an assumption like uh, uh, just go with the television okay. go with the television so that uh, be simple uh, vehicle and why is nothing but distance but case of your given example is going to be a sales okay and then i am making some data point i am creating some curve and see is nothing but intercept okay right and then the same way it's nothing m is nothing but the slope of the positive line i want to find out the m as well as the intercept so that's the reason simply i'm giving my data point to my function 
and I'm getting out of the two values. That is nothing but intercept and coefficient. That is nothing but your M and C. So, for example, if you want to do the problem wise, you have to do lots of mathematics. But if it's going to be applying here, you will get the values. You can ask me, so what is the use of this one, sir? Definitely, I'll give the answer. This one. So, let me go into single variable. Uh, yeah. Mm, yeah. So, this one example. So, don't, don't confuse yourself. So, here I'm going to use only one. Um, variable one minute let me pull out the the other sample whether 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 prediction yeah okay and uh, in quality as well So why I'm jumping here and there so that you guys can understand better me, I hope. Hello? Team? All are muted? Sir? Guys, you guys are with me? Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, please go ahead. You're able to hear me, right? And you're able to follow what I'm talking because it's a bit complex. I can understand, but but let's just you once I share that slides and uh, the code, probably you can go through that. But before that, so I clearly we explained like the step one, step two, and comparing with my mathematical model as well as my uh, algorithm model. You guys are with me. Yes, sir. Sir, able to understand, sir. Perfect. That's good. That's good because actually it's a bit complicated. But if you're related with the two sample exactly and the state forward, it you can you can uh, you can correlate that. Okay, thank you. Let me pull out some samples. <clears throat> okay, here I'm forming the exact if we to don't understand creating uh, available uh, linear regression algorithm in okay, 7.0 something. Plus and y is equal to this one. Sorry, um, uh, yeah, y is equal to mx plus c. So we are we are deriving this data point. Okay, for the given TV and sales, just two variable. And if you go back and you check here, it is going to be a two variable. That is nothing but your multiple variable. This is nothing but a multi-linear regression, and this is going to be a um, uh, that uh, it's a sim simple linear equation. So here I'm getting y is equal to this value, and here I'm getting uh, the intercept under the value. You can put it over here. So here also the, we have the given value. See here, uh, to two point two nine one plus four point six and the TV, and it's going to be a radio. Okay. So from here I'm taking extracting the value. This is nothing but coefficient because I'm dealing the two variable. That's the reason I'm getting the two different uh, value. Uh, uh it's 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 actually a list kind of stuff right so that i'm getting this value like this okay so that it's going to be uh tv and this is going to be your, your radio so i'm just concording and i'm giving a display sales is equal to sales is equal to what alpha uh alpha plus beta one x1 beta two x2 is nothing but your 4.6 for sorry 0 0.046 TV and I'm making up just for indication only I'm giving radio okay you can directly use that value to resolve the equation this is for my TV and this is for my radio that is something but b1 x1 and b2 x2 and this is nothing but alpha I'm getting this value so I am deriving this equation for 
these are multilinear as well as single linear okay so I forgot about this one so i don't want to get into detail here so this is how i'm i'm i'm, I'm, I'm building my uh, the equation by using instead of developing internally it's doing all those things okay internally all those things so we have one more step in the another program we can see how it is like predicting the value how we can compare and the same way we can we can do that uh, the calculation okay so is there any any still do you have any any questions shall we move on okay so here as i mentioned earlier so you, you can like just remember all these values so here i'm using x and y and predictor value okay so x y and predictor value i'm developing this simple graph and i'm checking whether what is the the error value okay so y and yp y is nothing but the given data and i'm predicting the values to 2.8 so the predictor is going to be below one and uh, uh my actual is going to be in the above one okay so it could be anything but in the case actually most of things are, are below than uh, um, the actual so that i'm getting this value okay so 2.8 and 3 here this is going to be this is going to predict is going to be what the values given so that uh, we'll get the values right so we are going to find out some value and now i want to do the best fitment best fitment is nothing but i want to figure out i want to reduce the value and i want to adjust the data i'll try to pull up the uh, uh, paint so that it will be easy So basically what they're going to do, they have some data point, data point, oh sorry, here, 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 let me take some graph from here screenshot. Um, One minute. Let me take a screenshot. Come on. I think I have some lots of issues with my laptop. So many things are in my laptop. So. <clears throat> So this is my curve. I want to put the the proper line. So such a way, I'm going to try to do this, right? This is my available data, and I'm predicting some value. I'm like lots of uh, the best best fitment. So the best fitment, how it will be available? is a very very important so the distance between let's say go with this line value and this is going to be am i uh my actual value if you look at the same line here i'm meeting the point here this is going to be uh, my predictor my my uh, actual value and this is going to be my actual value 
my line crossing over here the distance between the two is very less compared with this number and compared with this this predictor line so i can say this is the best fitment line for my regression so the finding this line is a very challenging so that we are going to adjust the value by using the r value we are going to find out the by using r value so how the distance between each uh, fitment line okay that's very important All right i'm coming back here so applying the different value to the slope and calculate the value of the uh, equation line will calculate the predicted value and compare with the actual elevated distance that's very important the value of the m just note down you can even if you want just memorize this statement it will be very helpful for you guys value of m for which the distance between actual value and uh, predicted value is minimum that line would be best fitment as i am showing here the figure here so this this line it crosses randomly i put the value okay don't bother about that so this specific line crossing this uh, this number of uh, the actual values and i'm predicting values so how we have predicted here in this uh, example right so we are predicting the value 2.8 2.3 3.6 3.6 and uh, the four all the values are like matching with my uh, the actual value against my predicting value predicted value is something but here i've just am drawing the draw right so you can compare you can just imagine yourself so this is my 2.8 2. .8, 2 point, that's a three value and uh, you can compare this value 3 4 something like that and uh, the distance between so how how Uh, length between here, you, you can meet. So this is the best fitment line for my cow. It's a, a simple and straightforward. It's a little bit complicated to understand, but anyway, you can you can understand that. Okay, that's very important. Uh, let me show some other example. The weather prediction. So in the weather prediction. weather prediction in the weather prediction what i am doing let me complete this mathematical model of this one okay it's a very easy one okay right and you want to validate we want to validate the r square so here after we are finishing uh, your uh, the model i'm going back at this one so Oh, i think we are familiar with all those things we forgot about that one okay and uh, okay so what i am doing i am finding my regression like uh, 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 intercept and coefficient value i am getting this one so here i am getting like this is the the, the minimum temperature and i am finding the value 80.81 is nothing but uh, the maximum temperature about like 81 percentage now i want to do the prediction testing against my actual one see here i am getting this set of value this is nothing but how i did my mathematical calculation you can compare with this one so this is nothing but your uh, predicted y and is actual y and the same thing if you are you are applying all the data model and doing all the the predicting test and you can prepare the data the actual data is nothing but 25 pau and predicted was what how much uh, 23.4 you can ask me shanta can you do something like a, a plotted graph yes of course we can draw the plot and this is nothing but this fitment okay so for this predicted and actual i going to draw some diagram forget about this one the bar chart is easily understand but this one for a fit fitment perspective create a, it's a simple chart so i'm getting this value right so probably you can compare this both you guys are with me any questions any questions any questions guy
students who can respond to the questions okay so amlia has said no sir okay cool amelia is our final uh, okay. decision maker in our uh, program basically i guess <laughs> yeah target guy yeah so unfortunately we are we are, we are in a virtual session otherwise uh, the amelia is run away from the class i guess <laughs> one second i just, just i want to mix for something i don't know like we able to follow up that not but but anyway just guys go through and uh, go well once i share that slides with your ma'am so just go through that so it's really really important okay so i spend much time on this and uh, and i will create this uh, the slides since you want to understand the basic thing so so oh, when i started working on this uh, data science model under like uh, so really was lost somewhere and uh, nobody is like helping me to um, do that like uh, comparison or uh, relate to this one so you can uh, correlate and correlate all these things here that's the reason actually i thought of giving the recorded videos but i don't want to do that recorded because people may not understand sometime see here this is for just for practical purpose i'm done. okay Uh, and screen and this one here this one probably now you guys can connect the points so this is actually at my uh, uh using my uh, python programming i have created this one and manually i created uh forgot about this one okay we and we predicted the but is actual predicted and i'm drawing so just randomly i draw something so i can do the fitment here so that the best fit line and then say the best fit line is nothing but what so it will give the coefficient the bit fit fitment is nothing but a y is equal to mx plus c so the the the, the regression intercept 14.56 and so on and uh, coefficient value 0.81 in that line i am getting a proper fitting fitment this is nothing but so you don't back my to my slides this guy is struggling to fitment do the fitment Where is that this guy actually is really struggling to do the fit. so manually you are doing all those things by using the calculation blah blah then finally you want to find out finding the coefficient or else again you have to change the value of uh, um, you need to put the values equal to y is equal to mx plus c so you have to put a different value of m and coefficient of values and you yeah yeah y value then at certain time only we'll get the answers like uh, you can predict that but by using a, your uh, python library okay so by using linear regression model automatically it will give the a comparison of uh, what the both values print and uh, again i'm uh, getting back with uh, some data points
Yes. It's equal to y is equal to m x plus c. Have the coefficient and what? we were calculated and we predicted something some value and i'm i'm just giving the assumption in this line going to be a bit fit bit best fitment for me so the intercept is going to be some value okay oops uh, uh, the intercept okay uh, and uh, this is going to be a slope this slope is nothing but my best fitment uh, m value and this is not my best fitment of c so during by using the manually i'm, ca I'm calculating and i'm finding i'm and, and i'm telling like for this uh inter for this specific intercept and this specific uh, the slope python and your model build using the uh, python language for the, this uh, data science uh, scope so the system will generating will give the answer for you what is that one minute really i'll paste this one again once again all right so this will give exactly the values okay okay so this is going to be oh come on come on come on right so for this fitment i'm getting I'm getting the value, the intercept, and so I'm getting the intercept, a fourteen point uh, five, and I'm getting like like uh, what is that? Uh, 